رمضان ريمايندر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله بعد المال wealth and money why do we earn a living why do we look for money why why are we obsessed with wealth as human beings now that is normal and it's natural Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَإِنَّهُ يُحِبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدٍ A human being loves money, loves provisions, loves wealth, accumulating. زُيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ حُبُّ الشَّهَوَاتِ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ وَالْبَنِينَ وَالْقَنَاطِرِ الْمُقَنْطَرَةِ Allah beautified wealth for us. Cars, houses, money. We love it. But what is the hikmah? What is the wisdom behind money? Finance is vital in our lives. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us these provisions? Why did he give it to us? For, for us to follow him, to obey him, to use that, to use what he has provided us with, to obey him, to pray to him, to share with others, to give out zakah. That's why Prophet Muhammad says, الصالح الصالح. A good wealth, good provisions, good finance, good money is for الصالح, for a good servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the hikmah why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided you? Because you are weak as a human being. Our soul is weak. We ourselves, we are weak. But Allah provides us with wealth in order to navigate through life, in the right channels of life, share with our loved ones, share with our neighbors, share with humanity. That is the hikmah, the wisdom. Now what is the what is the relationship between the soul and wealth and money? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kalla inna al insana la yatra arra'ahu starna. It says, indeed, a human being exceeds all boundaries. La yatra. When he sees that he is self-sufficient. When you have money and you can buy whatever you want and you can exploit however much you want, most of the time what happens is human beings, ex human beings they exceed the boundaries. They exceed the boundaries of Allah. So as Muslims, we have Boundaries, tilka hududullah, fala ta'taduha. The boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in life do not exceed these boundaries. Between these boundaries, follow your Prophet Muhammad sallam. Between these boundaries, obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now when we find ourselves self-sufficient, when we find we have money, we exceed boundaries. We do al-fahisha sometimes. The human being, when he sees that, when the soul sees it has everything, it exceeds all boundaries. Allah says in Surah Al-Kahf, وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَتْرًا رَجُلَيْنِ جَعَلْنَا لِأَحْدِهِمَا جَنَّتَيْنِ مِنْ أَحْنَالِ وَحَفْنَاهُمَا بِنَخْلٍ وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُمَا زَرْعًا He gives an example of two men. Of one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him all provisions. He gave him two gardens of grapevines and everything. And what did he do? He boasted to his friend and said, Ana akhtharu minka malan wa walada. I am better than you. I have more wealth and more manpower, more children. The answer of his friend was very important. And this surah, we read it every Friday to remind us on how the soul should react to wealth, 
should react to money. وَلَوْلَا إِذْ دَخَلْتَ جَنَّتَكَ قُلْتَ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهِ He say, what if, if you, could, you could enter your garden and when entering your garden you say, ما شاء الله, all this is from the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ No strength, no ability except that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنْ تَرَنِي أَنَا أَقَلُّ مِنْكَ مَالًا وَوَلَدًا if you see me that I have less wealth, less children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives, or who grants children, who grants wealth. Now when we understand ikhwati fillah, that whatever we have accumulated, we have worked for, the wealth we have, the money we have, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then our soul understands that, and it stays humble. But when the soul thinks that the money and the wealth it has accumulated is from ourselves, then we exceed boundaries. Qarun, for example. What happened to Qarun? Innama utituhu ala ilmin indi. I was given this because of my knowledge, because of my ability because I strived hard. Allah reminds in the Quran that money and wealth is for you to go through this life. Use it as a tool in this life to Akhirah. It's your tool to Akhirah. تِلْكَ الدَّارُ الْآخِرُ نَجْعَلُهَا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُرِيدُونَ عُلُوهُ فِي الْأَرْضُ وَلَا فَسَادَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says وَبْتَغِ فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةِ وَبْتَغِ فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ Look for For what Allah Use what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you To look for آخرة الدار الآخرة Use it as a tool To reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Don't let money Exploit your soul. Stay humble. Don't change. Yesterday you were a good person, without wealth, without money. Stay a good person. Let your soul not change because of wealth. Do not exceed the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make use of your time. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be mindful of Allah that He has given you wealth. Because if you don't follow it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may take it away tomorrow. Barakallah fikum. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan reminder.